Welcome to the Kidia Daily. I'm the PC Ekekwe. A conversation today will focus on what I call the trajectory advantage, especially for startups and businesses. You know, um, there are many elements of growth, and the way your company grows is actually going to drive how fast that company can grow. I call that the trajectory advantage because uh, there is a path through which your company is following. This is growth model that can actually ascertain how fast it can go. And, and, and that path is driven by what we call the scalable advantage and the capacity for that company to add many users without necessarily breaking the bank. And that can happen when you begin to have those constructs being having the benefits of some of those constructs that we've described, the idea, like invisibility constructs, where you begin to reverse the experiences of people in the physical space in the digital domain. People don't like to have many bank customers in the hall at the same time. But everyone wants to go into a mobile ecosystem where there are so many people participating. So what they don't like in the physical domain, they really cherish in the, in the digital domain. And also we have these aggregation constructs. Constructs looking at the network effects. How do you add many users without necessarily spending a lot of money? So you are just feeding on that capacity that people are working for you as an aggregator Why you are making the money. Example is Facebook. You go to Facebook, we just post everything we have in our lives and Facebook makes money of doing that. Facebook has aggregated all our contents and our party packages, those contents to advertise us. It makes billions in valuations of the company. Why? We just waste our time. And because it does this thing so well, many of us would like to go to Facebook. Our friends like to go to Facebook. And that also drives the advantage. And if you look through it, when companies begin to experience those constructs, the, the cost of goods sold, the distribution cost, the match transaction cost, these are the core elements of that marginal cost. But the most exciting element there is really the acquisition cost. Bring them together, you say, how much can it cost to get new customers? That acquisition cost is where I'm going to focus today. Driving inspiration for a recent piece by Ben Thompson, the guy that, that Greg said, retrograde. So if you look at a scalable advantage, when a, a scalable advantage is zero, it means that a company cannot just grow. A company cannot just add many users as quickly as possible without necessarily breaking the bank. What happens here is this. The cost goes high over time. That is the acquisition cost. Why? The growth or the value derivable is not necessarily tracking the cost. So this is what you see in a typical company. Right? The man has started a publishing, a publishing house. He wants to open offices all over the world. He wants to buy cars, buy trucks, buy van, hire staff. So the cost ramps up even when that growth is not tracking it. He just started a, a, a traditional bank. He wants to have branches all over the country. He's employing people, buying cars. That is what you see. The cost goes high. Then the growth is also moving, but not really tracking the cost. And that is the reason why, at the beginning, companies have many losses because they are still trying to build up the business. But what happens here is this if you are having an scalable advantage of one, in other words, you become a company operating under aggregation constructs. Your cost can remain flat, largely flat, not growing as fast. Why your growth is high because you are now enjoying a marginal cost advantage you are following a new trajectory essentially the vaccine the experience you have here by flipping this course so this red one becomes your growth why this blue one becomes your cost and when that happens good things happen because the cost of adding an additional user here is largely zero the cost of Facebook adding additional users is insignificant. The cost of Google adding additional users is insignificant. And when this happens, beautiful things happen. 
So your trajectory advantage drives your capacity and the speed for your company to grow. I just put these two things in together. And that is also what is happening in some sectors like e-commerce, like logistics companies, like companies, publishers. There are just so many things that can inherently affect your ability to actually scale up your business. You need to know in which sector, in which specific category you are to understand how fast that company can grow. Because that is also what is going to drive your business valuation. You are just taking care of it.